Hey fellow Schneider drivers, fellow drivers of all kinds, this is Friendly Bill coming at you. It is Thursday morning. I'm in uh, Los Angeles, zippity doo -dah, waiting to get unloaded. Drinking some delicious H2O. Mmm. Not your mama's moonshine. Alright, it's going to be a quick video. Here's a, here's a uh, product... Uh, Here's a product uh, review. Don't buy the Blue Parrot 450 XL. It is a piece of junk. I had this thing. I had this thing six months. I only used it for four months because I had another headset. So I only actually only used this thing for four months, and the battery crapped out. And so I took it apart and looked at the battery. The battery crapped out after four months. This was like a hundred and seventy-five dollar piece of junk. Do not buy the Blue Parrot. 450 XL or whatever it is XT I don't know it's a piece of junk all right that being said <clears throat> this video is going to be about why I think company driver company driving is better than o owner operating now don't get me wrong I have complete respect for owner operators I mean these guys uh, they do it all the they they they, they uh, count their pennies they they uh, they plan their loads. They they uh, keep track of all the all the costs and everything. And you know they're pinching their pennies. Uh, they're business owners. I mean they are business owners, and uh, you know they they run it. You have to run it like a business to be successful. So they're business owners. Okay, I looked into owner operating um, almost immediately after getting my CDL. I started looking into it. And I looked into it ever since. I've been looking into owner operating for over three years, collecting as much data as I can possibly collect. And ultimately, I came to the realization: you know, I have a, uh, I have an associate's degree. I have a bachelor's degree in applied sciences. I worked in marketing for 20 years. I was a marketing director, a graphic designer. I know how to crunch numbers. I could run a business. I could, but. I don't want to run a business. I, 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 I got out of that crap so I would not have to deal with that. I just, I like driving. I just want to drive, drink my coffee, listen to the radio, and relax. So here's, here's really why I prefer company driving to owner operating. And the first thing is debt, okay? Unless you have saved up your money and you're paying cash for a truck, you are signing a contract and you owe about as much as a really nice house so you are gonna be in debt for a long time now personally I hate debt I hate the way debt makes me feel it's always this thing hanging over my head you know if anything goes wrong if a load gets canceled if anything happens bad weather breakdown okay the stress that comes with that is incredible because you are in debt and you have to pay that off whether you lease a truck whether you finance a truck now if you bought a truck congratulations to you if you were able to save up hundred and twenty thousand dollars then this doesn't apply to you 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 have a you you're a sharp uh, a bright uh, person and uh, you don't this doesn't really apply to you now I looked into saving up my money and buying a truck uh, but there I'll get to that so uh, debt you're gonna be in debt if you're an owner operator. Personally, I do not like the feeling that comes with debt. I am currently out of debt, I have no debt, and it is a wonderful feeling. So okay, so second thing is stress, and that comes with debt, but stress, okay? The stress with owner operating comes from everything, okay? If you plan your load, is this load actually gonna be, um, is this going to be worth my time? Is it going to be worth the depreciation on my truck? Is it going to be, you know, the the load planning is become becomes a something totally different. As as a company driver, you get a load and you do it, you, and that's all there is to it. Uh, but if you're an owner operator, you have to ch you choose your own loads, and yes, you get to choose where you go, but you also have to do crunch all the numbers. Is this actually a money making load? Is this worth my time? And that takes a lot of time to to figure that out. Now, at first, it takes a lot of time. You get a little bit quicker at it, but still, it's a big deal. For instance, a load canceled on me uh, yesterday was no big deal. Load canceled. I laid down in a bunk for 30 minutes. Boom! I had another load. When did that one? 
But if the load cancels for an owner operator, that can ruin their entire week. Now they have to replan their entire week. Oh shit, they're not going to make enough money to pay the truck. Oh shit, they can't go home this week. Oh shit, blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on. It's a, it, the stress with the owner operating is humongous, okay? So I don't want the stress. Uh, the third thing is, uh, even if you buy your own truck, do you do you really want to be a truck owner? Okay, you know, I like I said, I, I come from a marketing background. I can crunch the numbers. Uh, you know, I do have some mechanical abilities, but you know, I don't. I don't really. You know, if I were to get a truck, I would really want to do a lot of the maintenance myself if I was to do that. But I don't. I don't really want to do that. I don't. I don't want to own a truck. Now, sure, I love. I love semis. I love trucks. I love beautiful trucks. I love. I love the truck I'm in. It's a. It's a 2020 Freightliner that Schneider has put me in. Thank you, Schneider. I love this truck. I love semis. But would I want to own one? Okay, now there's a big difference. There's a big difference between driving a truck and owning a truck. Okay, if anything happens to this truck, which it hasn't because it's a new truck, I've got no worries. I just make a phone call, boom, somebody fixes it. I don't pay for that, I don't do any of that. So, what really comes down to me, to me personally, don't, don't get me wrong, I, I uh, respect owner operators. But when it comes to me, and I know myself, I'm 44 years old, I've been through a lot, I know what I like, I know what I don't like, and right now, I like no stress, no debt, driving a truck, sipping coffee, listening to the radio, I got no worries, okay? The last thing is, when I go home to see my kids, okay, when I go home to see my kids, I give my kids my entire and absolute attention for seven, six, seven days consecutive, absolute my full attention. I'm not distracted, I'm not worried, I'm not stressed. I give them my full attention. And the reason I can do that is because I'm a company driver. Now if you're an owner operator and you gotta make a truck payment and you, you're, okay, these guys go home sometimes uh, when they feel comfortable enough to do so, but when they're at home they're stressed because they're looking at their phone, looking at all the loads they're missing. Oh, they're thinking about, oh crap, I gotta go back to work or else I can't make this truck payment. Oh, you know, they're so stressed and they're punching numbers and they're, they're I mean, it's a stressful thing to be an owner operator. So that's probably the, the last reason why I prefer company driving. Sure, there's, there's a downsize to company driving. For instance, you know, I'm here in LA, I'm doing a load, it's like 30 miles, it's probably gonna take uh, most of my day, I'm not gonna get paid a whole lot of money today. Uh, but I'm not stressed because, um, you know, I don't have debt, so I'm not stressed. You know, I'm just chilling out, taking it easy. Uh, if you have any comments about being an owner operator, like I said, I respect you. It's not for me, and I know that. That's why I'm not going to get into that game. You know, I may get into it maybe in uh, five or ten years when I save up that much money. If I decide in ten years that I that I want to uh, own a truck and I want to do all that stuff, I'll do it. But right now, I like company driving. So, um, I guess that's about it. Friendly Bill, I uh, hope you're having a great day. Schneider drivers, in my opinion, you are awesome. And, uh, yeah, catch you on the flip-flop.